Hello everyone, my name is Austin Ukrainitz and I will be speaking on the current events article titled, People Who Want Organ Transplants Must Get the COVID-19 Vaccine. This article was published on October 7th in response to the coronavirus crisis and was found on the NPR website. A large hospital system in Colorado says people on its organ transplant wait list won't be offered an organ if they refuse to get the COVID-19 vaccine, citing the significant risk the virus poses to transplant recipients. The hospital system added COVID-19 to its vaccine list a few short weeks ago. Colorado State Rep Tim G publicized the case of a woman who says the hospital told her she has no chance of receiving a kidney transplant due to the fact that she isn't vaccinated. The letter to this woman stated, the transplant team at the University of Colorado Hospital has determined that it's necessary to place you inactive on the waiting list. You will be inactivated on the list for non-compliance by not receiving the COVID-19 vaccine. You will have a total of 30 days to begin the vaccination series. If your decision is to refuse the COVID-19 vaccination, you will be removed from the kidney transplant list altogether. The bioethical dilemma presented in this current events article is the mandate to receive the COVID-19 vaccine in order to receive a life-saving transplanted organ. If anyone on the transplant list wants any chance of receiving the organ that could potentially save their life, they must accept the vaccine. The top two bioethical principles that are being threatened, violated, and challenged in this case study are autonomy and beneficence. Autonomy is the rational self-legislation or self-rule, which describes rational choices free of non-rational internal or external constraints or influences. Constraints include habit, compulsion, mental illness, or fraud, or undue influence. Autonomous choices are intentional, rational, and free. The autonomous person acts freely in accord with their own values and their own self-chosen plan. In this current events article, patients are no longer able to decide on their treatment, of, their care treatment of plan. These patients are forced to receive a vaccine that, due to whatever circumstance, did not wish to receive the vaccine before. Without getting this vaccine, these patients will die due to them no longer being able to receive a much needed organ transplant. Beneficence can be defined as the ethical principle based on the belief that the healthcare provider should do no harm, should prevent harm, should remove existing harm, and should promote the patient's good and well being of the patient. This principle is being challenged in the way that the healthcare system only wishes to provide care and just care to all of its patients and is no longer able to do so. Patients wish, wish to do no harm in the fact that over the last 18 months, research has shown that the COVID-19 vaccine could possibly save the lives of many immunocompromised patients. Forcing the vaccine on a patient takes away the patient's autonomy even when a provider is only trying to do no harm when asking them to get the vaccine. This article is important to me and my profession because I work in the emergency department and treat many patients who have chosen not to receive the COVID-19 vaccine. Over the course of the last few months, patient who have not, patients who have not received the COVID-19 vaccine have been found to be more sick and more critical than those who have received the COVID-19 vaccine. This article is also important to me due to the fact that my boyfriend's family works for the UC system over in Colorado. If a mandate such as this is beginning in states so close to ours, how long will it take for this mandate to be placed on the patients in California as well? The two provisions from the Code of Ethics for Nursing uh, that are relevant to this event are Provision 3 and Provision 5. Provi provision 3 states that the nurse promotes and advocates for and protects the patient's rights, health, and safety. Provision 5 states the nurse owes the same duties to self as to others, including the responsibility to promote health and safety, preserve wholeness of character integrity, maintain competence, and continue personal and professional growth periods together. Uh, together, these two provisions violate uh, pr ethical principles due to the fact that there are no choices in whether or not these organ transplant patients wish to receive the COVID-19 vaccine. A nurse cannot protect the rights of or hold herself accountable to the same standards if the only two choices are to get the vaccine or die. Organ transplant patients in Colorado no longer are able to choose their treatment plan if they, do, if they wish to live. Implications for healthcare include needing more education for patients who do not wish to receive the COVID-19 vaccine due to fear. Another implication also prevents healthcare workers from doing their jobs 
and saving patients due to the mandate of the COVID-19 vaccine. Where will this take healthcare in the future, especially in terms of nurses and doctors who only want to help and heal? A patient's autonomy is stripped, nurses are unable to advocate for the rights of their patients, and the only answer is to get the vaccine or wait until they die. Thank you everyone for listening. Written below in my script, you will be able to see my references and my article source. Thank you all again for listening.